tell you for sure is that when it comes to genre defining rock and pop music that has enjoyed a continuous global impact <laughs> for over half a century now and is also seriously good to port to <laughs> the Beatles are so much better than the Rolling Stones that it's not even fucking funny <laughs> in fact if, God forbid, the Beatles and the Rolling Stones were to hypothetically wind up in the same maximum security correctional facility together, the Beatles would make the Rolling Stones their bitch in like two seconds, <laughs> buying and selling them ten times over for little more than a pack of Newports, a couple Thin Mints, and an original VHS copy of the Patrick Swayze vehicle Roadhouse, <laughs> just to break up the day a little bit. There goes the Beatles making the Rolling Stones their fucking bitch again, one prison guard might say to another. But it's not like they would do shit about it, because yeah, right, like you're gonna go mess with the fucking Beatles when you got a wife and kids back home who are expecting dear old dad home for supper on time and in one piece instead of bleeding out on the cell block floor. Anyway, Webster's defines a rolling stone as a person who changes his habitation, business, or pursuits with great frequency or one who leads a wandering or unsettled life. I, Dave Hill, define a Rolling Stone as any one of five members of a super lame, roving gang of geriatrics <laughs> who would be lucky to get a gig on wing night somewhere at best, were it not for society's insatiable appetite for nostalgia and shitty three-chord blues rock played by saggy-ass Englishmen. <laughs> with some of the worst dye jobs this side of Paramus. <laughs> Furthermore, it's worth noting that the Rolling Stones, a group I happen to be extremely, be an extremely big fan of, but for the sake of tonight's proceedings, I would have <laughs> Not to like even a little bit. For all their disadvantaged street tough posturing, especially in their early career, were actually a bunch of spoiled rich kids from London. Meanwhile, the Beatles actually were a bunch of, bunch of disadvantaged street toughs from Liverpool who went ahead and got matching bowl cuts and wore matching nerdy suits like some sort of social ankle weights. As if to say, look at us, world, we might look like a bunch of dorks, but we'll still slap the Rolling Stones in the face with our dicks. <laughs> when it comes to writing some of the greatest songs of the past 200 years. It's also worth noting that while the Rolling Stones have chosen to continue their reign of musical torture for no less than 57 years now, the Beatles had the good sense to break up and barely speak to each other ever again. After a mere 10 years of being the Beatles, could they still be playing Love Me Do, Let It Be, and whatever the fuck else they want to 20,000 guys with fanny packs, jean shorts, and completely unironic cop mustaches at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey? <laughs> 
to the tune of several million dollars a night, even though Paul McCartney and Ringo Starr are the only two living members if they felt like it? Of course. But instead, they're just like, fuck it. We got other shit to do. <laughs> and by other shit, in the case of Ringo Starr, we mean absolutely nothing at all. <laughs> Meanwhile, at this very moment, the Rolling Stones are holding a candlelight vigil above the lifeless body of Mick Jagger in the hopes that he'll be healthy enough for them to go out and fleece some of those same 20,000 guys with fanny packs, jean shorts, and completely unironic cop mustaches at the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey, just as soon as humanly possible. In fact, at some point during the show in question, the stones, as they are known to people who are seriously annoying, <laughs> will likely play their early hit, Play With Fire, wherein Mick Jagger sings the line, don't you play with me, cause you're playing with fire. But it's like, yeah right Mick, you're 75. If I play with you, I'm gonna be playing with farts. And that's if I'm lucky. The smart money, money is on you shitting your pants after the first tickle. You fucking bitch. Also, the kinks are better than the Rolling Stones too. So there's that, and that I actually fucking mean. Thank you.